Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to do the glowing kill feed. This is the uh, ninth Sony Vegas tutorial I've done, and here's a preview now. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit Right, so as you saw there, um, you have the kill feed um, just here, basically glowing. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do that. What you want to do is obviously grab your clip, and you want to twixt her apart uh, where you want the kill feed to glow. Um, you just got to make sure that the kill feed isn't moving. So if you watch here now, that it's like moving upwards. You just got to make sure it's staying still, and then you can twixt to your part. And there's my part twixted just there. So you can see how it's really slow. Um, okay, so then what you want to do is you want to create a video track for uh, all of your kills. So I've got three here. Um, so I'm going to create three video tracks on top of these. this one here. I'm going to show you two ways to do the glowing kill feed. I'm going to show you my way, and I'm going to show you um, an, a, like a, another way um, that I saw off, the, uh, off YouTube, um, but I prefer my way. But I'll show you both ways. So, um, what you want to do is create the three video tracks. You just right click on here and go insert video track. Then what you want to do is you want to copy this clip onto each of the individual video tracks by holding control and then you just drag it up basically. You drag each individual one up. So you should have basically four clips now. What you then want to do is go up to the top video track and you want to maybe zoom in. Um, go on event pan crop. Right. So now you want to do is you want to mask. So you want to click mask. You want to zoom in. So click the little zoom edit tool and zoom in on the top uh, kill like so and then you want to hit the anchor creation tool now just highlight around the barret or whatever obviously uh, weapon you've used and this might take me a couple of seconds right okay so now that one is done if you just exit off that and then you go on to brightness and contrast in your video effects you want to go on very bright and just drag it onto the um, clip that you've just masked and as you can see it's starting to brighten up so drag another very bright on and that should be just just enough um, to let it glow. Now what you want to do is you want to go down to the second one, so video track two. And you want to basically do the same again. So you want to hit mask. You want to zoom in onto the second bar or whatever gun. Um, anchor creation tool, and then go around it again. And we're done again. I'm doing mine really fast, so just try to take a little more time. Uh, with yours. Again drag the very bright on twice like so and then you see the second one has come up. And then you go down to the third one, fourth one, so and so. What you can do is um, if you just zoom in what you can do is fade in this effect uh, let's put it to about there fade it in on all of them. I've only done the first two but yeah you get the idea and if I um, just skip through you can see how that effect comes into place um, what you then can do is add your color correction on the bottom video track like so and you'll see in a second that hopefully yeah and because because I haven't actually masked this bottom one um, where is it that bottom one there um, my color correction hasn't come through so for basically if I masked I just quickly mask around my gun now, like this. So if I'm, I'm just going to quickly go around it. There, you see. Then this would obviously come into place like that. So it looks really nice. I'm just going to show you the other way, um, and I'm going to put a download to. Uh, basically, it's overlaying um, some PNG images onto the kill feed. So again go to your kill feed, add your twix or whatnot, um, and create, uh, insert a video track for each individual um, kill. Then what you want to do is go to uh, basically the file that I'm about to give you. I've got it on my desktop here so I've got it in a RAW file already. Um, there's some overlays for Modern Warfare 2 and 3. Unfortunately I haven't got Black Ops 2 just yet um, but I can look into getting them. Um, but then what you want to do is basically open it up um, get the, well I've got obviously got the Barrett open it 
and you're going to see that it's quite big so no that's not what she said as well what you want to then do is basically create well stretch it out so it's so it's the right size and this might take a little time but um I mean like I said I, I prefer my way of doing it but this is another way if you can't be bothered basically to mask everything but they these do look a bit a bit chunky and a bit too big for what I like you know so it it doesn't look very clean um but I've showed you both ways and I hope this tutorial helps comment rate subscribe and I'll catch you guys